component of the anesthesia delivery system we will be testing is the vaporizer. You will need to set up your VT900A prior to starting the anesthesia machine PM. Significantly reduce your setup time by setting up a test profile for your brand and model of medical device. If you are unfamiliar with what a test profile is, please refer to the how to use video to view the features of the VT900A and how to set your device up for testing based on your testing preferences. This video can be accessed by going to www.flukebiomedical.com forward slash gas flow. We will need to turn off breath detection on the VT900A. You can do this from menu, setup, breath detect, off. This will ensure that we will not measure breath to breath since flow will be continuous. Another good practice is to zero your airway flow before testing. This will ensure the most accurate results. Do this before connecting to the breathing circuit. There are two measurement screens we will use on the VT900A. The first is the airway screen, which will allow us to view the flow, pressure, volume, and oxygen concentration through the airway channel. The second is the breath view screen, which accumulates all of our breath parameters together onto one screen or onto a customized screen using a test profile. The oxygen sensor should also be verified to make sure you are getting the most accurate results. Do this before a day's worth of testing. Hook the VT900A up to 100% oxygen at a flow rate greater than 10 liters per minute and verify that the oxygen sensor is reading correctly. You can also take this opportunity to check your flow rates. Set the flow rate on the anesthesia machine and verify that the setting on the VT900A airway screen is correct. In this example, we set the flow to 10 liters per minute. This is typically controlled with a balance of air, oxygen, and nitrous oxide to achieve that flow. You can also use the ultra-low pressure or ultra-low flow ports on the VT900A to verify the function of your respiratory gas monitor, depending on how the system is set up. Once oxygen concentration and flow have been verified to be within acceptable limits, test setup is complete and we are ready to commence performance testing the anesthesia delivery system. We will first perform an efficacy test of the vaporizer, and to do that we will be using vapor and the VT900A. Vaporizer testing confirms that the concentration of anesthetic agent being delivered to the patient is identical to the intended concentration determined by the anesthesiologist. Before we start vaporizer testing, we should ensure that the gas scavenging system is turned on and functioning properly. Also. Many manufacturers ask that you manually inspect the interlock system so that only one vaporizer can be in operation at one time. Plug the vapor anesthesia tester into the VT900A via the connection in the rear. On the airway screen, you should press the large anesthesia button to access vapor. Here, you press on and the vapor will start its warm-up process. You can track progress on the screen and can begin testing at warm-up accuracy or at full accuracy if you need the most accurate readings. You will need to take your accessory tee and attach it to the fresh gas outlet using either the 15 or 22 millimeter connections. Attach the other end via the quick connect to vapor. You may have your own proprietary fittings and be able to attach the accessory tee directly to the common gas hose. Make sure to connect the exhaust end to the anesthesia gas scavenging system. Do not send agent through the VT900A as it can damage the sensors in the analyzer. Now we are ready to use vapor to verify the anesthetic agent concentration. You will need to measure agent concentration at multiple concentrations and flow rates. In this example, we are measuring sevoflurane at 5 liters per minute and 5% concentration. Vapor will automatically detect the agent being delivered and display it on the screen along with its international color code. The reading on the vaporizer rotometer should match the reading on vapor within acceptable tolerances. This procedure should be repeated for all flow and concentration test points listed in the service manual. We can save the information on our tester at any time by pressing save at the bottom of our screen and then selecting data, recording, or new test ID. 
Vaporizer testing is now complete.